What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel, welcome everyone. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome. I don't know if that's the first. That's not the first time I did that. We should, we should make that a thing. Welcome back, to our welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. That's our intro. <laughs> hey, all right. Like so this is episode three, numero tres, of our pillow talk series. Mm -hmm. Um. And if you haven't watched the first two, make sure you go back and check those out. Um. Yeah. Really soft. Yeah, so this is our. This is really smooth. With our it. Christmas I think I like pillows. this side more because this side is too, too soft. So these are our Christmas pillows. It's really cute. Matches the blanket. And then the blanket comes with it. So. Okay, so this. We'll get back on track. This is going to be our third episode of Pillow Talk. And what we will be talking about. Not really talking about. There's, we have a book. It says, 2,000 questions about me. So, we're just going to start from question one, and then go, just keep going. This is going to help you guys know a little bit more about us. And, yeah. And probably about, our, probably, ooh, I got a little tongue tied there. Probably a little bit about our ourselves because mm -hmm. it's going to cause us to think and we're, we're, most likely we're going to be asked questions that never were asked to us before mm -hmm. that we never been asked before and that we never like thought about so that we never thought yeah exactly so we're going to learn about ourselves and mm -hmm. each other all right ready okay yes so it says what if your what is your idea of perfect happiness my idea of perfect happiness is laying down and getting massaged. Is it? That's your perfect happiness? No, perfect happiness would be having no worries. That's my real answer. Okay. Perfect happiness would be having no worries. Alright. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But then again, you shouldn't really have all We're humans. This. We're going to get yeah. worries. Yeah. We shouldn't have to, but it's our human nature. We're going to worry about things. Yeah. Oh, I don't know mine. <laughs> Idea of perfect happiness, um, just being all over, like comfortable within yourselves and love, completely loving yourself so that you can like be able to give your all and love others. Um, cause I think that's what would make you happy. Oh, <laughs> that's a good answer. Okay. The next question is, what is your greatest fear? Ooh, I can go. My greatest fear is falling, which I think you guys know a little bit about that already if you guys watched the mukbang video. Yeah. Um, yeah, my fear is of falling. I thought it was heights, but it's falling. Yeah, it's not of heights. I've, I showed her that. Yeah. It's not a fear of heights, it's a fear of falling. What's yours? Ah. <sighs> I think my biggest fear would be the inability to provide. Mm. That would be my biggest fear. Is that a word, inability? It sounds like it is, I don't know. <laughs> am, I, am I going way up ahead of myself right now? That is my biggest fear. 
And that's for, like provide for your family and like friends or just yourself? In general. I need to be I need to have the capability to to provide to I think that goes along with not having to worry. Mm. I don't have to worry about making sure my family's safe. I don't have to worry about my family needing to eat. Like that's all those are all factors of me what I have to provide. I have to provide the safety for my family. I have to provide food. Not that money is everything, but money in this day and age you need money for everything. So um to have the money to do everything that I need more than want and everything that I need for my family. As long as we have what we need, then I'm, I'm good. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. Not being able to provide would, would kill me. Now we want. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, what is the, trace, the trait you most deplore in yourself? So, which is a trait that you think is wrong or like immoral. Um, trait that I think is wrong. I think mine is like speaking my mind I'm sorry. at the wrong time. Yeah. That's me doing, I'm speaking, well, not my mind, but inability is a word. I just wanted to put that out there. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so yeah, I think mine is, my trait is not, like, holding back my words. Sometimes I just say what's on my mind at the wrong time, um, and I, like, react on it. So, yeah, I think that, that's a bad trait. I should hold it in. And if I do like to say my say what's on my mind, it's still good, but it's just not at the times that I do sometimes. It's the timing of yeah. Yeah, that's probably what you know. Okay. Mine. I okay. I guess the trait that I deplore would be that I always feel like I have to be right. I mean, it's not so much of a wrong thing, but. If I know I'm wrong, maybe not that. Maybe it's more I need to make sure that I'm right before I try to prove that I'm right. But my f my faulty trait would be that I don't make sure. I don't confirm with myself if I'm right first. I just automatically try to go into like I'm right. You know what I mean? So then what happens when you, you find out that you're wrong? Well, sometimes I do find out that I'm wrong. And so I don't say anything about it. If I know that I actually am wrong, I'm not, I'm not going to fight against it. Which I, which I do all the time, if I know. But if I don't actually know, I automatically go on a defense that I'm right. Without actually running through it in my mind. Which that happens unintentionally, but it's a bad treat. Yeah. Hey, don't be fresh. Okay. So I guess this is how we're gonna do it, you me, you me. Okay, so um alright, so the next question would be what is your greatest extravagance? <laughs> Like, would you want to spend on? I think my greatest extravagance is food. Because I sometimes I would see things, like clothes or whatever, and I don't, like, I don't really want to buy it. I'll look at it and say, oh, I really like it, and then I'll look at the price and be like, mm, I don't know. But I could spend that same thing on food. And then just 
it as many times as I want to. So like clothes and stuff is not material things like this. What they're called. So food. Okay. My greatest extravagance would be clothing. Well, like you know, clothing in general, footwear as well. Um, but I don't spend like stupid money on clothes. I'm very reasonable. I'm very select. I don't like spend like she said. It's you look at the price. You're like I'm not spending that kind of money. I love clothes, but I would never spend more than needs to be on like shoes. Anything past sixty, I'm just like, eh, because I don't like spending that kind of money. But if you look at them, you wouldn't think they're actually like good shoes. And then my clothes, the same thing. Yeah, anything that has to do with what you wear. Yeah. It includes jackets, hats, things like that. So. All right. So that was number four. So this is our last question. So the question says. What is your current state of mind? This book is all over the place. <laughs> current state of mind? Sheesh. Current state of mind. Uh. My current state of mind is to I guess, alright, one of these sound like cliches though, I don't know, like to, to work hard, you, no matter what job, I'm, well, I mean, I've been in the same job for like three years, but no matter what job I'm in, my state of mind is to always give your 120%, no matter what you do, you should always give it your all, you should be proud of what you do, if you don't like where you're at, move on to the next step that you need to do to, to progress yourself. Um, but you should, and any job you are in, you should give 120%. Because at that time, at that given moment of time, that is your profession. And you should be proficient in your profession. So, and then that helps you, that helps you grow anyways. That helps you grow for the next step in your life. Um, and in doing that, it will help me continue to, to provide for my fat, well, for my wife right now, um, and then get to the home, the house that, um, that we eventually would like to get. We don't know what house that is yet because we haven't seen it. But when we do find it, my state of mind is to do anything that I can to get us there. So that means to work hard. Mm -hmm. And to be physically active at all times. Healthy. Huh, that's a good one. I can't think. Um, I guess my state of mind is to always challenge myself and stay motivated. Um, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so challenge myself and stay motivated. Um, and like he said, if you're not in a job that you don't like why stay there so my thing is if I'm not being challenged in that job either you teach me something else or I'm gone so yeah I always want to like motivate myself and push myself so that I can learn something new and if there's nothing else to do then I try something else so especially like with the YouTube channel trying to stay motivated and saying, you know, one video a week to start off with and we'll just keep building, building on it. You guys have no idea how hard it is. Yeah. 
to even do one video a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I know some of you might know if you record yourself. But it's just like, it's... There's so much that your personal life consists of that taking a camera with you to do those things is just... That's like the last thing on your mind because you need to get that specific thing done. So it's just getting used to having the camera around us to do these kind of videos and setting the time and setting the time you know yeah. our lives are busy and then our friends want to see us but then we got to record too and it's just some of them like to record some don't and, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's hard it's really hard but we're working on it and so it's something that's something that, we, that like. we yeah that's something we like and that's a state of mind that we're both in that we need to motivate ourselves and push ourselves to put more content out for you guys yeah. so. because I know later on like in the future it would get better um, mm -hmm. so why not you know there we already have a few people like a good amount of people watching us now so we'll we just, appreciate you all yeah by the way so we're <laughs> not gonna just leave you guys stranded so so we're like completely and utterly like grateful and we just thank you all for subscribing and watching our channel yes, we do. um it's gonna get much better so don't leave us stick around come on stick around stick around <laughs> help us out <laughs> help us out yeah there's more content to come and we got some new equipment Shh, not gonna tell you anything else <laughs> yes we are going to end this video but before we do so we're gonna do our comment shout out today's comment shout out goes to <laughs> Samaya Namazi Hey! Thank you for all your congratulations on your comment shout out. <laughs> we love I you. I'm so delicious. <laughs> we love you. Just continue <laughs> commenting. Um, and if you would like a comment shout out, make sure you keep the positivity going in the comments. And yeah, until next time, fam. Oh. Before you go, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, fam. We'll be back with more videos.